G'day everyone, it's Morgan from the Hasty Wombat again. I'm standing at the top of the Kabul Range, as you can see. Beautiful spot up here. It's been a bit of a while since I've given an update. Um, I was really sick with COVID for nearly a month, so I uh, couldn't do anything. I didn't end up going away on my veteran mentors camp because I was COVID positive. They weren't too keen to have it on the camp, as you can imagine, and I was, I was pretty sick. Since that, I took a little bit to recover and I um, am moving house, packing up the apartment and moving into dad's yard where I'm building the van so I can work on it a bit more often and um, spend a lot more time getting it going because obviously it's been slow going. So yeah, just wanted to give that little quick update and um, we've got some exciting things happening in the next week or two with the van um, provided I've moved home and I've got that all sorted but yeah, keep posted. Mate, I swear, every time I start a job on this van, and I think it's gonna take me an hour, or a half a day at the most. The throw's another curve ball. More of this black stuff. So, I'm peeling up this bamboo it's got cork underneath it and insulation underneath it, so that's gonna stay, but just wanted to get rid of this bamboo stuff. It's just cheap lining. That's gone. But now, I found he's stuck it down with this bloody butyl rubber. It's the bane of my existence. Anyway, back to it. So I've finished moving house, pretty much, most of it, um, and it's time to get stuck back into the van. That is uh, like a bamboo, some kind of bamboo on the top of the cork flooring. So it's stuck with my favourite stuff, the butyl rubber, and we need to soften it before we can peel it up because it is almost impossible to peel it up if you've seen some of my other videos. So how we're going to do that is with some mineral taps. Mineral taps broom and we're just going to lightly brush um, the taps over the top let it soak in it will hopefully soften up butyl rubber and then we'll be able to peel it up and clean it up so wish me luck
G'day guys and girls. Um, gonna have another crack at the floor today. So uh, I've got a new tool from my mate Scotty here in town. Um, uh, he's a high school mate of mine, owns a mechanic shop in town and his family used to do body work. Um, so he's given me a new tool, which is a windscreen wiper removal tool. Uh, windscreen removal, not the wiper, the actual window. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give it a go with the floor and the butyl rubber. Um, as everyone's aware, it's been a thorn in my backside this entire time. So, new tool, gloves, and uh, I'm going to give it a go. So, stick by. Righto, so um, Scott gave me the tool, and it, well actually his dad gave me the tool. His dad's the one that used to run the um, body shop back in the day. Um, they also gave me a tip to spray it with WD-40 first and it just stops stuff sticking to the blade while I'm trying to use it but it's still going to be pretty tough going um, but yeah we'll see how it works The hardest part is getting a little corner up that we can grip and I should be able to cut away at it with this blade but first we've got to get it up. That's what she said. Don't you dare. come across a bit of an issue where I don't know if you can see that but I've dug into the into the cork tile so yeah don't know Hard work, guys. <laughs> As I said, sticky with everything. Okay, so that was a pretty abject failure, even with the new tool. Um, really didn't get anywhere, and uh, it was hard work. So I've got one more idea to try. I think it was kind of it's kind of a last resort. Um, I'm just gonna put my sunnies back on. Yeah. So I've got one other idea, but I'll, I'm gonna have to restart from scratch the entire floor. So. Really didn't want to do that. Yes, yeah, so I wanted to get rid of the bamboo, keep the cork tiling uh, and the floorboard and the insulation on underneath. But with the way that this stuff is stuck together, I think my best option now after trying that is actually just to try and remove the entire floor back to bare metal. The board will have mounting points in it, but they're covered up. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to uncover those. Uh, I might just have to get into this with a saw 
and um, cut cut the floor up, cut the boarding up, uh, and then remove it whole piece. There is another issue with that is that it seems to be uh, that the insulation underneath is screwed through the metal floor of the vehicle, which isn't ideal. Um, so it's got tech screws running through the body and you can see them they're exposed underneath the vehicle that's not too big of a drama to fix you know a bit of silicon or some of this butyl rubber will, will close those gaps up with some with some rust proofing and it won't be a drama but not ideal i wouldn't put extra holes in the vehicle if i didn't need to um yeah that was a bit of failure today we're gonna have to um put my head together with a few people and and uh, see what else we can come up with but that's looking like my option at the moment is to is to cut up floor and start from scratch this ain't going to be easy either but yep i need to get this build going so this is the last bit that's going to be pulled out and then i can start building it and i'm really looking forward to that uh it's been way too long since i've had the van and we're just not making any forward progress so all right stay tuned